All right. It's Friday, July 8th. And we've got a cool deep red sky going over there. Very red. The video does not convey that. Let me see if I can adjust the exposure down to what it actually looks like. Yeah, it's about like that. This is what it looks like right now outside. Oh, that's a little dark. Let's see. Yeah, about like that. Just really cool, like fiery red in the sky down there. But we'll pop out. We'll brighten it up a little bit. And give you a very brief garden update since it's so dark. Um, I just went through, used up the rest of my tomato tone and a little bit of garden tone that I had. Um, I applied fertilizer to everything except for the beans and the peas. So potatoes got fertilizer. They were just leaning over because they just gave them a lot of water. Um, peppers in the pot got fertilizer. Peppers on the ground got fertilizer. All the tomatoes got fertilizer in a ring around the base of each plant. Um... All the cucumbers got fertilizer along the bottoms. Uh, I'm trying to just give this guy a little space. Yeah, I bet you we could, uh, if we snug this up. What is going on here? Um, it's a little loosey-goosey. I could probably get him tighter so he's not so leaned. But <clears throat> I was trying to give these ones a little space. This one's kind of encroaching on that little one. So I was trying to move this over and that pulls him away. So now this one has some space to grow up into there. And I can move this like this to encourage it to grow into that open space right here. So we'll do that. I just clipped up most of the tops of the cucumbers. If you notice, they're all pretty snug up to the tips now. And uh, they're pretty tall now, you know. They're getting up to my uh, my belly button chest zone. So um, the Sweet 100 may overtake the Caspian Pink in the end because check it out, the Sweet 100. Really getting tons of wow. That's a big sucker. This thing has been growing super fast. I can't even keep up with the suckers on it. Um, here's the Caspian pink now. There's a mosquito. A mosquito. But I would say we're getting close. Everything else looks great. Couple more uh, sun golds coming right down here. This one, there's one over here on the other side. It's coming ripe a little bit. And uh, other than that, I would say that this is starting to get more taut. If you can see, brrrn, brrrn. that means that this is holding some weight now. And uh, it certainly is. I can feel it. It's it's getting a little heavy. So that that berry's crazy cherry branch there is certainly a big boy. And that's a lot of tomatoes. What tomato are you? It's a lot of tomato. So I learned that's called a multi-flora variety. The more you know. But yeah, so we fertilized, we watered. And uh, now it's time to put the garden to bed. So here's my makeshift shysty gate. 
out of a screen. And some cuttings from the EMT that I used for the trellis. And a wolfie. Overall, the trellis is holding up. There's one thing I am like considering, like if there's all this weight on it and then we get a really bad storm and it's like, whoosh, will it blow over? We'll find out. I mean, we got all these things to blow over too, don't we? Especially considering some of these trees are dead and I can't afford to get them taken down and I don't feel like uh, I'm qualified to take them down because they're right next to the road and the uh, yard and the power lines right, right there. That could push. I would like to pop it go maybe zooch right there in this long stretch. But either way, yeah, we'll find out, won't we? So that's tonight's garden video. It's a dark one. And um, I hope you all also have a dark one. What with the red sunset and all. And I'm getting skeetoed talking about bullshit. So have a good night.